Happy 2023! In this video, I will share with you guys 10 things you should know about Puerto Rico and how we spend Christmas and New Year on this tropical island. Let's get started. Number one, there's no direct flight from San Francisco to Puerto Rico. We had a layover in Houston for a couple of hours, and the whole trip took us almost 15 hours in total. I know, I could go back to China in 13 hours. So find something to do on the flight, and Puerto Rico is four hours ahead of Pacific time. You will experience a little bit of jet lag. Hello, Puerto Rico. Number two. Old San Juan is such a colorful place. It preserves a lot of Latin architectural style. If you want to trick someone into thinking that you're traveling in Spain, then take pictures here. <laughs> Puerto Rico. Oui. Where's my husband? San Juan. San Juan. Number three. The animals here are bizarre. It's a giant lizard. Oh my god, this is huge. Chickens and horses are everywhere. <laughs> That's a weird cat. But the most important one you should be careful of is the mosquitoes. They are brutal. There's even a place called Mosquito Bay. So be prepared. Even though I use bug spray, my legs are still not the same as before. I've never seen a mosquito bite have bruise. What's going on with the mosquito here? They are muted? Number four, take a ferry to Villa Kiss Island is a must do because they have the world famous bioluminescent bay. Yep, the same one I mentioned before, Mosquito Bay. But the tour tickets are not easy to get, so book it in advance. Oh, book the rental car as well. <laughs> Number five, lower your expectation of the glowing bay. If you are thinking about Life of Pi, that type of glowing water, then you are gonna be disappointed. We went there two days after the new moon, which should be a good time to see the glowing in the dark, but nothing shows on my camera. Even the stars were brighter than the water. Plus, we had to go through dirty, smelly mud and kayak 15 minutes to the center of the bay. So I would say it was fun, but not mind-blowing. The fun part is you can hold some water and watch the sparkling stars slowly disappear in your hand. Number six. The food here is pretty heavy, and most of it is fried. It's not like typical tropical island cuisine, full of fresh seafood and juice everywhere. And if you are craving Asian food on this island, then good luck. How was it? Very sweet. Some of the restaurants on Villa Kiss Island charge tips in the check without telling you. So always ask if your bill includes the tips already. How strong the B-52? Uh, the B-52? Yeah. Give us some steroids to be able to handle it. From the beach? Yeah! Number seven. In Villa Kiss, the south beaches are better than the north in general. My favorite one is Caracas Beach. The sand is soft and clean. <laughs> there are a bunch of horses hanging out here too. Did you catch that? Mm. Alice, you want to see another crab? Oh my god, this crab is so cute! Right. Number 8. Puerto Rico is still a territory of the United States. The people who live here and were born here are citizens, but they can't vote for the president of America. And they couldn't have the same benefits as other states. For example, education or medical perks. So most Puerto Ricans hope this island could become a state of America. Number 9. The main language in Puerto Rico is Spanish, even though this is part of U.S. territory. If you go to a very local restaurant, 
the server might not understand English at all. So learn some Spanish words and have a translator with you all the time. For example, a Portuguese friend should be good enough. Number ten. No different from other places in America, Puerto Rico is very festive during Christmas and New Year. Restaurants are either packed or closed. There's a Santa on the roof. We cooked it in our Airbnb on Christmas Eve and had a hard time finding food on New Year's Eve. We waited one hour outside of a Thai restaurant on the first day of 2023, and bumped into a famous actor from The Rings of Power. He even waited outside with his family as long as we did. One, two, three. Wow, nobody has a privilege in front of a good restaurant in Puerto Rico. Twenty, twenty. Overall, it was an adventure and special experience. Happy New Year! My first time counting down the New Year on the beach and talking about my New Year's resolutions with friends. Speaking of which, I will share with you guys how I'm gonna make my next 10 years vision board in the next video, and what questions you should ask yourself while making a vision board. Stay tuned.